Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 21st, 2021. Well, my goodness sakes, we have a very interesting uh, market situation here where yesterday we finally got a little bit of bullishness, but it wasn't able to follow through. However, this morning, fueled by a little bit of optimism from a Nike earnings report and a FedEx report, we're looking at a pretty substantial gap up at the open right now. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, we've got kind of an interesting situation where we've got very light volume. Volume's been declining, and I suspect after we get some of the news reports and things today, we will continue to see that decline. Remember, we have a major winter storm running across the country and there's going to be a lot of folks you know wondering or worrying how they're going to you know get to their holiday plans coming up um, on Sunday so um, let's take a look at these charts and see if we've got any changes coming in here that's made a major difference well first off yesterday we ended up with another spinning top doji now one thing you want to kind of keep in mind is from the top of these wicks to the bottom of these wick tails right in here it's about 550 points um, in a down move um, pretty substantial move even though those candles look like they don't much matter but if you look right here we're getting a a nice pop up this morning here um, in the pre-market and it looks like we may have a chance that we're going to move up here and maybe test some price resistance levels in the Dow. So probably the biggest level that we have uh, to, to kind of consider right now is this level right here. So if those bulls can continue to push on through this morning, we may look for a test of a level right up in here. And what does that do for our moving averages? Well, you can see that would be a hold of the 50 day moving average and a rally back up toward that 34 EMA and declining eight exponential moving average that may create a little bit of price resistance in the chart. Now, if we can push on through there, I would say maybe even a push up into here might be possible for our, you know, so-called Santa Claus rally. If we can push up that far, one of the things that I will be looking for, I'll be watching carefully for a potential failure pattern and probably some short positions here on the diamonds can't say that's going to occur rarely does the market give me exactly what i want but i'll be watching for that now if we can push on through some of these levels and actually hold them as support pop up through hold as support well then i'm all long um so watch carefully for that circumstance as well i don't know which will come about. I do think that next year we're going to have a little bit more problems than maybe a lot of folks hope for with, um, you know, potential recessionary um, uh, market where we're, we're more in a, um, instead of a inflationary problem, we'll, we'll probably be in a deflationary situation in the market, particularly if the Fed continues to move forward on its rate increases. Let's take a look if the bears suddenly find inspiration today, and there is data out today that they certainly could find inspiration today. Well, first off, we'll look to see if they can hold that support in price action. If they do not hold that support, well then once again, we start looking much lower here, I think in the charts to find the next level of price support. So keep a close eye on that. Now, one of the things that is probably the best situation here for the Dow is that this has broken that downtrend. And so far, as you can see, 
we're holding on to that area as support. So pretty interesting um, situation. And right now that is the only index doing that. So keep in mind, our smallest index, 30 companies only, is the only um, index right now that has broken the uh, overall downtrend in the market. If we take a look at our SPY, now our SPY, um, also gave us a little bit of a boost yesterday at one point in time we had kind of a piercing candle in here trying to move us back to the top side and you'll notice that this morning we're trying to gap up but if we look right in here um, that gap up is going to run us into some pretty good price resistance maybe a little bit higher if we can press this um, hard today maybe move us up into this level here in the chart that'd be a pretty t tough press um, for the bulls to do but it is possible so we'll watch a level up in here if those bulls can really push through today and get moving and then if they really find that major inspiration maybe a pop back up here into this resistance area of the chart could be possible once again I'm going to be watching pretty carefully as we rally back for a potential failure um, in the chart because I just think there's trouble coming next year. Um, and if I'm wrong, then the first thing I'm going to be watching for uh, being wrong, and I'll be happily wrong, is if we can rally up and make a higher low and then I'll be uh, wanting to go long the market here. So watch that close. Now we do wanna keep in mind that despite this bounce back up, it's not gonna fix anything up here. We're still running in a downtrend. We still have a lot of congestion above in the SPY. And we do wanna consider the challenges that our NASDAQ stocks are facing and a lot of those NASDAQ stocks are also included here in the SPY. If we take a look at a QQQ, QQQ, I think, still remains probably the, the riskiest in index out there in the market. If we uh, come across here, clearly we, can, we continue in that downtrend. The bear market is still in play in the NASDAQ. And if we look right in here where we held support, well, boy, if we didn't hold support here, we were looking for new lows on the year, I think. And we grabbed onto that and left kind of a indecisive spinning top doji here. We're getting a little bit of follow through here this morning, a little bit of pop up. They're really trying to inspire the bullishness in the Dow this morning. We can see the SPY and the QQQ, not as much bullishness as we're seeing in the Dow. So be careful with the pop up because it could end up being just a pop and drop. Um, watch carefully in here. If we do rally, there is um, an interesting little resistance right in that area that could stop us. And you can see we're trying to gap up to that this morning. If the bulls can push on through there, then we're probably looking at a place right up in here that we're going to run into some resistance. And then, of course, the underneath side of that little consolidating move in there would be the next area that could challenge us. Now, keeping in mind that our uh, moving averages here, um, we're going to run into a 50 day moving average with that eight exponential already declined through our 34 is going to be down there here in a couple more days. And we're going to run into also a moving average or technical um, um, resistance level in that QQQ. So watch that close. Our uh, bear side of this, if the bears continue to push, you know, retest of support from yesterday would be the first um, and obvious place. And if that were to fail, I think we're coming down into here and maybe even head toward that um, yearly low in the NASDAQ. So keep a close eye on those price levels. Our Russell IWM also had a better day than the other indexes out there. I think we not quite a piercing candle at the close on um, IWM. If those bears were to continue to push today, um, look for a retest of support down in here. And once again, if that fails, we're gonna look lower probably down in this range for that next level of price support on the Russell. If the bulls can continue to push through on this, well, look right in here. We don't have very far to go before we hit some pretty substantial resistance. And I think there's a little bit of a zone here where we might catch it right 
in here or just a little bit higher to pick up these tops across here for that resistance area. Um, push on through that and then we're going to come right up into this area of the chart and we do want to keep in mind that uh, that's right near that 50 day moving average and notice our 34 EMA is already starting to dip down through that um, IWM we're running into a bit of a price resistance zone right there in that chart so be careful if we take a look at our VIX our VIX interestingly enough yesterday declined pretty sharply um, it, it seems kind of odd to me that we have all of these reports, all of these uh, concerns out there from companies and CEOs that next year is going to be rough. And yet um, we have no fear in this um, in the market right now. Um, so I, I think the hope of a Santa Claus rally still exists out there. And maybe the next few days we'll get that Santa Claus rally to move back up to test some of those resistance areas. I'm not sure it's going to be more of a Santa, so much a Santa Claus rally. It's just a little bit of a relief rally that we need from this oversold condition that we're in in the short term. Now, keeping in mind, we still have that potential pattern in here, that inverted head and shoulders pattern that we'll want to be keeping an eye on. We haven't quite broken that down, but I would guess the gap up this morning that we're trying to produce um, at least in the Dow is going to help this and we might actually break this back down here just a little bit so I'm gonna have to give that to the bulls um, they haven't quite been able to break down this trend break but who knows that might be possible today with a little bit of bullish uh, push now if those bears find inspiration well look for some of these resistance levels up here in the chart and I think this right in here would be the next critical break. If we were to break above that, that would be a problem. Breaking below these lows in here would certainly be um, a pretty impressive move for the bulls. And then of course, coming all the way down here, I think would really show quite a little bit of complacency considering the data points that we've been receiving in the market. You just gotta remember, we've just had all of these housing numbers have not been good and we're going to get another housing number today so watch carefully for that let's take a look at our t2122 our t2122 well we've still got um, some reason for some bullishness we came out we uh, with that little push up yesterday we came out of our bearish reversal zone here just like we would like to see and we need this relief rally as it's coming um, coming in this morning we need it if we can hold on to it and push it on through and with that relief rally we've got plenty of upside opportunity if we can move now i would suggest that we watch those resistance levels in the chart pretty carefully as we rally back up and then we also have to recognize the fact that we did rally up out of that um, a bearish reversal zone and if those bears find um, inspiration today then that opportunity that we could push right back down and linger down here in this bottom side of t2122 a little bit longer so keep an eye on that now if we take a look at our t2108 we really didn't have much of an improvement here in t2108 we just kind of went flat yesterday um, despite the little bit of rally now we're going to get a pump up this morning and that should improve this just a little bit but you'll look in here we've got um we've created a new resistance zone in that chart a rally back up we could find resistance in that t2108 if the um, bears were to take over well you're noticing that anything below here um, we're going to run into um, some maybe a little support areas down in here but that gets pretty ugly um, 34 35 percent of the stocks holding above their 40 day um, not exactly a bull sign, but certainly a sign that maybe we're oversold in the short term and need a little bit of relief. Our T2107, T2107, um, kind of the same, just 
flat, pulled back even a little bit at the close yesterday. As you can see, we've given up this little price support here in the chart. So a rally back up to recover that would be beneficial here to um, the market. So watch that carefully. But if those bears find reason for inspiration, continue to push, then we could easily slide down into this next level of support in the chart. Keeping in mind, once again, 37, 38% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. It's a pretty tough case that that is extremely bullish in the market and really lends itself more to, well, we're so oversold, maybe we could get a little bit of relief rally out of it. Again, I'm going to skip over T2101 because our volumes, we did get a, a surge of volume right at the end of the day as the dark pool activity came rolling in here into the Dow. But if you take a look, SPY still um, light on volume, QQQ light on volume, and IWM light on volume. Not really a whole lot um, for T2101 to provide us evidence of uh, momentum here in the market. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, excuse me, our economic calendar. Our economic calendar, we've got a few things that we're really gonna wanna pay attention to here this morning. First off, we're gonna get those mortgage applications and they haven't been improving all that much. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. They'll be first thing out this morning. And then we're gonna get a consumer confidence and existing home sales. Um, our home, um, uh, our numbers here on home sales, the uh, um, housing market index was not impressive at all um, on Monday. Um, our housing starts and permits showing a continued decline. And today we're going to get existing home sales. So keep an eye on that. The consensus numbers in here are uh, for the home sales are suggesting a decline. They're actually, they're saying that they believe we'll get a little increase in the consumer confidence number, which is understandable. We've seen um, energy prices or gas prices come down and um, that's one of those sensitive areas for the consumer uh, with those prices coming down a little bit, that's helping out out and um, we actually could see a little bit of um, uh, consumer confidence increase as a result of that. Then we're going to get our pet petroleum numbers. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, interestingly enough, petroleum has been holding up pretty well um, during uh, this market downturn. So watch that close. We've got a couple of bond auctions. Probably the most notable is gonna be that 20 year bond auction that we'll wanna keep an eye on. Then as we plan forward, I know a lot of folks will be thinking about their holiday plans. A lot of folks have already shut down and saying, I'm done for the year. But um, then we're gonna face a GDP tomorrow morning before the bell. So as you plan today, I would suggest be a little bit careful on loading up heavy. Um, on a lot of trades because this could create a substantial gap tomorrow, either up or down. And then those jobless claims, which haven't been helping us out for that narrative that uh, the Fed would like to see, and that is a slowing in that jobs growth. So watch that carefully. We got a natural gas report and at the end of the day on Thursday, we're gonna have the uh, Fed balance sheet, uh, but I don't think too many people care about that. So let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, we do have a few notables that we'll want to be paying attention to. Um, and I do think um, they are some stocks that can, can give us some, um, a little bit of um, inspiration here for the day. Probably the most notable of the day is going to be Micron. Um, that'll be after the bell today. You'll want to keep an eye on Micron. Um, that report could, you know, provide um, um, some uh, inspiration for either the bulls or bears. Um, obviously, we're down here in pretty low situation here in the market. But if you squint just a little bit, you can probably see a very big possibility of an inverted head and shoulders that could form in here, particularly if that turns into a nice bullish report. Keeping in mind that longer term, we've still got these major downtrends here to kind of work through, but um, that might provide us a little bit of upside support if we get a good report there. Um, we're also going to hear from CentOS. 
CentOS reporting today, so keep a close eye on that. We're very bullish here on CentOS, pulling back to test a little bit of price support. Um, MLKN will be reporting today. Obviously, this could be a critical report. We're certainly in a bearish, bearish condition here on MLKN. Um, a bullish report could maybe break this little downturn and maybe give us a little higher low in here in hope of a um, better look forward here on this stock. But um, if it fails, of course, that could be a problem here for the market. We've got um, Rite Aid that will be um, reporting today. Looks like we've already got a report on that. We're popping up nicely. At least I think we might have. It might just be reacting to the bullishness in the market. But Rite Aid trying to pop up. We've got maybe a double bottom or a little tiny higher low in here starting to recover but boy there's going to be a lot of work to get up out of this downtrend here in Rite Aid. And then let's take a look last but not least is TTC will be reporting today. Now this thing has been so bullish. Toro very very strong. You'll notice if we stretch this out um, someplace in here that trend may connect. You can see this nice long consolidation in here. A little bullish move yesterday heading into that report. So keep an eye on that. We'll also want Want to um, pay attention to the fact that we're pressing some all-time highs here in Toro. So this could be a very important report for today to determine whether we're going to break out and move on up or if this turns around and starts to see some downside in our market. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos and if you um, um, feel like these videos are worthy, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please also do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, Another thing I want to um, announce again today is um, Rightway Options Trading Room is open to the public. Um, right now we've had two really good days, really fun days of some training. Um, the training um, session always begins at um, 11 a.m. Eastern and goes to 1 p.m. every single day. Yesterday I actually went about a half hour over talking about uh, different concepts and answering questions. So if you're struggling in trading, um, I understand the volume and everything of the market might be having you wanting to be on the sidelines, but maybe some studies, some some um, preparation for next year and improving your trading might be helpful. So let's be productive on a day like today and come on over um, to Rightway Options for that class today. Today we're going to be talking about hedging, how you can improve um, layoff risk and enhance profits with options. And so we'll be talking over various strategies on things we can do and things that I use to help me improve my trading results utilizing options. Um, so we'll see you over there. All you have to do is go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website, www.hitruncandlesticks.com. Click on the Right Way Options tab and then look down. You'll see the link that will log you into our trading room. It is open to the public. You can invite your friends. Hope to see you there. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here in the market because there's a lot of volatility that could occur around these data points on low volume over the next three days. So um, just be kind of careful. First off, let's take a look at... Um, CPB. Now, CPB pulled back a little bit yesterday, but we've been seeing some of these defensive, not all of them, but some of these defensive companies holding up pretty solidly um, in the chart uh, uh, or in their price action. So, a little pullback here. Very, very strong move on CPB. Good, strong dividend pair you'll want to notice on the big picture here. 
breaking through major resistance levels in the chart or pumping up nicely here in Campbell soup a little bit of rest and consolidation in here maybe just what the doctor ordered for that to find that next opportunity to the upside now another thing um, an area that you guys know I've been harping on for quite a while is the precious metals oh my goodness uh, we had quite a move yesterday in um, gold and silver uh, both of those responding to a big drop in the US dollar yesterday. So keep an eye on gold and silver. They're still holding in there very nice. Trends have been broken as you can see. We're breaking through resistance levels in the chart and we're continuing to hold those levels and moving on higher. So watch that carefully. Now, what I would suggest because of the big move yesterday, really a good chance that we could rest consolidate or pull back a little bit here on gld so it may not be quite ready for prime time but i'd be keeping a close eye on that um, as that rests if we take a look at silver silver also very very bullish moving up in this nice upside trend um, um, very strong yesterday once again maybe a little rest or pullback might be due in that chart you'll want to watch all of this price resistance here in um, in the chart right here um, as you move this up but silver is looking very very good and remember silver also has that industrial aspect to it not just as a precious metal um, we didn't see quite as strong a move here in copper. Copper tried to pop and didn't get anything going here yesterday. I do think it's worth watching though because we moved up nicely in this pattern. We're just taking a little bit longer here to consolidate that move. So if the dollar continues to weaken, look for that to maybe push on through to the upside. Now let's take a look at some ideas maybe for some short trades. If we start looking at um, energy, well, energy is rallying back up right now, but I got to tell you, if we run into some price resistance levels in the chart up here, we can certainly see that possibility that we may be rallying back to just kind of contract or contact that downtrend and that possible move that we can turn over to the downside. I'm not saying that's going to happen and those uh, petroleum numbers today could be helpful. Um, but in this chart, if we can break that downtrend to the upside, hold this as a higher low, then we might have some upside opportunities. So we're right there on that cusp where um, XLE could be making a decision and some of those energy stocks could be making that decision. Um, another place to take a look, if we're, uh, for me anyway, I'm going to be looking for a short here in the financials. Um, as you can see, the financials, we have hit a high, uh, a lower high. We've made a lower low in the market. Um, since that point in time, we broke this price support in here. If you'll notice up here, we now have a head and shoulders top pattern that has formed here in um, the um, XLE or XLF um, ETF. And so far we're rallying back up but you can see it's a pretty weak attempt to rally back up i'll be watching for an area up in here for a potential short and if we take a look at our moving averages you can see why i might be seeing a pretty substantial technical resistance above here as well breaking down and we're rallying back to a 5200 8 exponential 34 eme uh, um, or 34 ema exponential uh, moving average um, all of that could provide some downside resistance in that chart so watch that carefully on the financials unfortunately guys I'm running out of time here this morning running this video long I want to wish you all a fantastic day and thanks so much for being here I look forward to seeing you in the trading room today we're gonna have a great time um, take care be safe see you right back here right and early Thursday morning. By the way, um, if you're heading out for your holiday plans from Rightway Options, I just want to wish you all the best this holiday season. And thank you so much for this year, uh, kindness, support to the YouTube channel and to the trading room itself. I do truly appreciate it. I wish you all of the best in your travels. Be safe and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday.